and we are bracing for some not so sunny weather here in our area. Meteorologist Kristen Emery, it looks like PNC Park behind you. It's beautiful now, but it's not going to be looking like that for very long. What's going on? We could have a little bit of rain and some storms possible as we head through this evening. A warm front lifting through and then a trailing cold front. So all of that means some showers and possibly a few rumbles of thunder on the way this evening. The best chance for any severe weather for us looks like it should stay to our west, but we could still have some gusty winds in any of these storms that develop. Right now you see the fans starting to filter in and grass nice and green over at PNC Park as they're getting ready for first pitch at 635. The uh, flag waving in the breeze there. It is pretty breezy out there to say the least. East southeast wind sustained at 14 miles per hour. We already have gusts up to 28 miles per hour. So as these fronts swing through here tonight, it could be a very breezy evening, downright windy in some spots, mostly cloudy, still very mild, 76 degrees. Currently we've cooled down just a bit off to the east. Catanning's at 71 Greensburg, 70 Connellsville at 68 degrees, still some mid to upper 70s all up and down. I 79 very mild temperatures today. Keep in mind, our normal high is 60 degrees. We hit 80 today, only two degrees shy of a record. The record high is 82 set back in the late 70s. Right now we're looking at temperatures that will stay in the 60s throughout the evening, and I mentioned the chance for severe weather. This is where we have just a marginal chance of any uh, storms that could have some damaging wind gusts. That would be from almost I-77 to the west, but right now we're looking at mainly cloudy skies. If you look off to the south and west, we do have just the first few showers from this approaching system headed just to the southwest of Wheeling, not quite making it up to the Pennsylvania line yet. As we go through the next couple of hours, this activity will start to kind of inch closer and closer. You can see this co giant comma shaped cloud here, classic swirling counterclockwise around that low, and you can see some of these showers and storms starting to develop. So this is the warm sector first that's going to keep us mild in those upper 60s and some rain showers most of the evening. And then later this evening, as that trailing cold front pushes through, we could have a couple of thunderstorms pop up. Here's 10 o'clock, so after 6, 7, after 630, 730, we'll start to get the showers pushing in. And then after 9, 10 p.m., that's when we have the best chance for any thunderstorms up until around 2 or 3 a.m. Then that cold front is past us. The temperatures start to cool off just a bit. So we'll only dip down to the 50s but no more 80s on the way tomorrow through the day. We'll start to look at just a little clearing on Sunday, Monday morning in through Monday afternoon. Secondary system pushing through. We could get a few more scattered showers throughout the day on Monday. Not a whole lot of measurable rain, but a few scattered showers. And then Tuesday, just mainly cloudy. We could see a few more showers later in the day, mainly north and up closer to I-80. So here's how it plays out tonight. 56 your overnight low, scattered showers, a few thunderstorms possible, especially later into the evening. And then overnight tonight through tomorrow morning, skies begin to clear. We'll have partly sunny skies by later tomorrow afternoon. We only recover back up to 68. 68 is still pretty nice, but no more 80s. And we stay in those 60s all the rest of the beginning of the week. Upper 50s the middle of the week, but nice temperatures as we head into next weekend. Royce.